It's Jim. Welcome back to the channel. I am the unofficial mayor of Cowboy Country, and I am so glad you are here. I'm going to do a short video. I'm going to talk about defense. Um, a lot of OSU fans are upset because Mike Gundy went into Division Two and grabbed Brian Nardo, and they're like, well, why do we need to have our defense be like Iowa State? You know, they were they finished last place in the Big 12, and it's like, you don't understand. Iowa State's defense over the last five years has been very good. So, in fact, um, I think they're copying the 3 3 5. Uh, I think, well, they used, TCU used to use a 4 2 5, but they're now using a lot of 3 3 5. Tech's using it, Kansas State's using it. I know Baylor's using it some. The whole idea is that the three three five defense has been proven to work against spread offenses. So numbers don't lie. So what I'm going to do is slide over a little bit. Sorry, I'm taking the I'm in the way of the little guys, but I got to I'm going to put my numbers up here. So. As far as points per game, Iowa State last year averaged 20.3 game uh, points per game. That is number one in the Big 12. Yes. Cy and, and the Cyclones had the best defense when it comes to uh, fewest points allowed. What the? Oh, I didn't even realize it. What the heck? <laughs> That's better. I didn't even realize that was on there. It come with the packing. Crazy, huh? All right. Number two was Texas. 21.6 points per game. That's pretty good. Um... Number three was t uh, Kansas State at 21.9. Number four was Baylor at 26.8. Um, I knew we weren't that bad as far as defense is concerned last year. Oklahoma State was number five at 28.9 points per game. Just our offense struggled when Spencer Sanders got hurt. Um, TCU averaged 29 points per game. Texas Tech averaged 29.2 points per game. OU averaged an even 30 points per game. By the way, I got these numbers from sportsreference.com. Make sure I put that up, up above. Well, West Virginia, 32.9 points per game. You can tell why Golden Blue Dude was not happy with their defense. And KU was actually the worst at 35.5 points per game. So if you're going to emulate, if you're going to uh, try to replicate what somebody else is doing, you might as well try to replicate the best defense in the Big 12. And that's what they've been, you know. I do think Hunter Deckers, their quarterback, is going to be better this year. So I'm, I'm that trip up to Ames for Oklahoma State is not going to be an easy game. I, I'm predicting a victory, um, just because Alan Bowman can run the spread offense well, but uh, he's got to make the transition from being at Michigan to being at Oklahoma, to Oklahoma State. So a lot of people want to bash Brian Nardo. You need to give the guy a chance. Um, Mike Gundy did his homework. He found a guy that um, really wants to step up and be in uh, Division One school and run the three three five. And if that's the direction they're going to go in, and we need to support him rather than bash him online, I, I I hate to think that Oklahoma State fans are becoming like OU fans. I, I just, I, I hate to think that that's happening. Um, but then again, Robert Allen has made the, a great point. 
on his show that uh, you have this very vocal minority. Uh, the vast majority of Oklahoma State fans are indeed loyal and true. And, um, you know, I, I, I feel like I have um, cautious optimism when it comes to Oklahoma State in 2023. I think that they uh, could win eight or nine games. Um, the main thing I want to see happen is I want to see Alan Bowman teach uh, Zane Flores how to be a Division I quarterback. I want to see Flores learn from Bowman and then in 2024 take over and uh, really uh, – lead us to a Big 12 title. So could Oklahoma State, you know, considering that Oklahoma State does not have to play Baylor this year, there's no Baylor game in 2023. There's no game against um, TCU. There's no game against Texas Tech. And there's no game against Texas. So the, the most difficult game, in my opinion, is going to be against Kansas State, and that's in Stillwater. I, I'm, I'm picking, I'm picking uh, Kansas State on that one, but that's a winnable game. Obviously, Oklahoma State plays better at home than they do on the road. So we'll see what happens. But as far as the defense is concerned, I think uh, Coach Gundy made a good pick. I think we're headed in the right direction. And uh, I'm just asking those that are very hostile towards uh, this new defensive coordinator to give the guy a chance. So, anyway, if you are new to the channel, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, this channel has a lot of content about college football. We do, do a little bit of college basketball. We will do some college baseball later, later on. Uh, I've already got the calendar. Uh, where I've marked um, games against, um, I believe they have to go at TCU, and I believe they're going to be at Texas Tech. So, anyway, um, so <laughs> my my uh, girlfriend's texting me. Um, so I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching. Um, trying to think what we're going to do. I, I don't think there'll be a video Friday. I am going with my girlfriend to the women's basketball game in Fort Worth. So I will do a video of their basketball arena. Remember last year I did a video of their football stadium. So Saturday, I will do a video of TCU's basketball arena. Got an interesting court. I want to. I want to get a good shot of that. So anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, go Pokes.